Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Planting Things. We are here today to tackle an issue that plagues us, and I'm sure it plagues you, that's why you search for this video, uh, gnats. Uh, we've been at war with gnats, I think, since we got our plants. So, uh, yeah. So these are, um, I think, what, four? Yeah, we're gonna do four of our uh, favorite, kind of least two favorite uh, methods of getting rid of these pests. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and start it off with our number fourth pick, least favorite. That will be the apple cider vinegar and soap method. Basically, you pour the apple cider vinegar inside a cup. Um, the way I read it, it's supposed to be like a narrow entry and it gets bigger towards the bottom, but we work with what we have. So we fill it usually about three quarters to a halfway full and then all you really need is two drops of dish soap. Um, too much and the apple cider vinegar will not attract them as much. So, yep. And then you mix it up just like this so you get a little bit of bubbles on top, you know, it's all mixed together. <laughs> <laughs> it smells terrible but it, it works. It attracts Pretty them, decently. and basically what's going to happen is they're going to obviously get attracted into the cup here, and they're going to get coated in the soap, what little bit you put in there, and they're going to drown inside there. So um, this isn't like a bad method, I would say, but it's not really a good method. Uh, we haven't had, we've had luck with it, but not like overwhelming success, I'd say. So um, Plus it makes your house smell it stinks. funky. Yeah, so I mean, maybe you know if you have a better setup where your maybe your plants are in a different room and you can set up a few of these, um, sure, you know, go for it. But um, it's a very inexpensive way. But uh, for us, it's just not. Uh, it doesn't cover. Well, we have so many plants, it doesn't cover. In an cover. enclosed space. Right. So, um, yep, that's our number four pick right there. Next, we unfortunately do not have. Yeah, we don't. The actual <laughs> item with us. We just threw out all of them, but it's basically a popsicle stick and a two-sided tape. Yep, yellow uh, sticky tape that you'd see like maybe some bug uh, zappers or whatever have. So uh, yeah, you basically stick one or two. We usually put two or three in our uh, pots and uh, the um, gnats that are going to be flying around the, the general area of your plant will they'll get stuck to them. And they do, they really do. They start off, like I said, yellow. By the time that they're done, uh, they are black. And it's not from the soil. Black. It's from head to toe gnats. So yeah, all of the ones that are down inside the uh, soil that are crawling up from the soil to the top and the ones that are flying around, that's really, really good for uh, doing that. We definitely saw a decline in how many were flying around kind of in your face and stuff like that. So um, definitely recommend that. If you go on Amazon, you can type in like a gnat sticky or something like that and it'll bring up what, what we're uh, talking about so that's our uh, number three so I'll, I'll put a placeholder there number three <laughs> uh, next is our number two option and that is uh, basically like a pumice mix it is a uh, gross stone what is it gnat mix you basically pour a Thin layer on top. We just did this one here for you. Yep. Uh, you don't want any soil to show through because that's how the gnats get into your Correct. plant. So yeah, definitely give it a nice uh, cover. Don't you know? You don't want thick. We're just talking nice top soil. And um, yeah, we've noticed this plant uh, was the first one that we used this on, and this has like really never had any issues as far as gnats go. I don't. No. I've never noticed any. So. Um, I'm pretty sure it stops them from bur uh, burrowing in and like uh, reverse from burrowing out. So I think it's just a clean, you know, cover. So um, yeah, that's definitely, uh, we put that in a few of our other plants as well. So we're gonna see how that works. But I think uh, that's our second favorite um, option there. Just as we're squishing them. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay, these guys are so resilient. You literally just bam, done. You just stick it in the dirt real quick, and it's good. <laughs> That's how easy succulents can be. <laughs> All right, so on to our first and favorite. Before pick. we do that, though, we're gonna give you some tips and tricks to maybe help prevent having to do any of this. So I'm sure you've already seen this, but whatever. Um, so some of our tips and tricks that we've learned about through our studies, our studies being YouTube and stuff like that. But there's a lot of useful stuff out there. Um, was they're attracted to the moisture. 
in your soil. So overwatering your plants is a big number one no-no. Don't do that for, I mean, a number of reasons, but uh, mainly for gnats, they love that. So uh, again, try to get yourself on a regimen as far as watering goes. Uh, we like to do once a month for a good portion of our plants. A few of them are once a weekers, but um, for the most part, it's once a month. Wait till they're dry, then water them. Uh, what's something else? Uh, oh, heating your soil. Yeah, next uh, you can put it in the microwave and nuke it. The but soil. You wanna yeah. Yeah, the soil, yeah. You want to make sure Not that... the plant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You want to make sure the soil is completely cooled down before you put mm -hmm. your plant back in. Uh, or else you can kill your plant. Right, so you can, yeah, like you said, you can get the proportion of how much soil you'll need and then kind of put it in the microwave. Or you can also uh, put boiling water through it as well. And both, like, like you said, both times make sure the soil is, you know, pretty cooled down. You don't want to singe the roots or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I think those two tips, honestly, that so don't overwater, and whatever we just talked about just now. So nuke the soil. Nuke the soil. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. But yeah, here's our number one uh, thing here. It is systematic houseplant insect control. This is fantastic. Like, holy cow. <laughs> My favorite by far. We saw a drastic decline yes. in the gnats in our apartment after we used this. Yeah, and it was it was about, I'd say, probably 12 to 15 bucks for this. And it was still our first uh, little bit here. And it's a powder, a little, powder, uh, little residue there. And you're just gonna, kind of same as this, put a little topsoil on it. Um, very, very light, because it uh, it's also a fertilizer. It has fertilizer um, elements inside of it. So you're kind of doing two for one there. Um, so nice little topsoil on it and then water it through and you're good for about a month or two. Um, yeah. You want to make sure you water it through though because it's getting rid of all of the bad toxins yep. in the soil as well. So yeah, when we say water it through, we mean literally you will see water coming through your drainage holes. Again, make sure you have drainage holes. Um, some pots like this one for our succulents, this did not come with drainage holes. So we made them ourselves by simply heating up a screwdriver, I believe, yeah, with and a butane torch mm -hmm. and just shoving a few through it. So if you're, check your pots, make sure they have drainage holes because it's super important. And uh, yeah, just make sure it waters through, gets rid of all those bad nutrients. And then the uh, this will go ahead and soak into the soil and it kills not only the living ones, it kills the larva, larva. and mm -hmm. the pupa, you know, all that fun stuff. So um, yeah, so again, just to recap our Top four in order, we have the, the apple cider vinegar, which I'm very glad to get rid of because it's been wafting in my face this whole time. Lovely uh. smell. Uh, the apple cider vinegar, which is not the worst in the world, but it's definitely not our personal favorite. Um, the invisible one that we don't have, which is like the sticky traps that you put around your uh, plant. Uh, the topsoil mat protectant barrier thingy. <laughs> <laughs> and the Romix. Yep. So those are ours and they seem to work fairly well. Again, we have 20 plus plants in a 810 square foot um, apartment. Um, and if you haven't seen all of our plants, we have uh, plant tour videos up. So we'll go ahead and link those here. Maybe oh, here. Maybe there. So go ahead and check those out. But um, yeah, and uh, this is what works for us, kind of. What works for you though? We always are looking for new ways to get rid of them, you know, what works best for you. Yeah, leave a comment below. Talk to us. Yep, let us know and definitely hit that subscribe button. It should be here about now because the video is wrapping up right about now. <laughs>